Call of Duty Black Ops 3, probably the most complete game in the series. We all play Call of Duty games for different reasons. All those reasons are present in Black Ops 3. There's zombies mode for the gamer girls and teenage boys with 14 different maps to get your wave mode on. There's multiplayer with its jetpacks and sliding and wall running with all the classic modes. Pretty decent maps. But there's a Destiny-like addition with these moves you can pull off that recharge as you play throughout the match. And there are multiple different moves for you to choose from to change your strategy for different match types. I don't really have much to say about the multiplayer because it's not really what I play for. It's fun, it's addictive. But I'm here for the campaign, which is where the special moves are pulled from. And I was pleasantly surprised with what we get with Black Ops 3. This isn't my favorite campaign in the series, but I feel this campaign is by far the coolest. It doesn't even feel like a Call of Duty campaign. This could have easily been a standalone IP, as it tells the story of man versus machine and this campaign is a hefty 10 hours long give or take depending on the difficulty i played half of the campaign on easy and half of it on hard and the campaign does so many cool things at the beginning of the story a robot just rips you apart so you spend the rest of the game as an augmented human but of course the augments and the dni is being messed with controlling the minds of your comrades you spend the game trying to get to the bottom of this with these augments you're able to see in the dark and through smoke you can take enemies in your area you're able to do crazy things each mission you can choose if you want moves for control, chaos, or combat. I played mostly with Chaos as I felt there's an equal balance of attacks in this class that I could use against humans as well as robots. Also it allows you to unleash these fireflies that eat humans in your way, and you get to sing the firefly song while they do that. But there are multiple ways for you to play through this campaign thanks to these controls, such as hacking everything and taking control watchdog style if you'd like. The first half of the campaign I felt to be pretty soulless though. I felt like I was really just going through the motions, but as the story goes on things just get weirder, and I would have to stop myself to remind myself that this is indeed a Call of Duty game in a war versus robots. They play with illusions and memories here. It's nice to see that the team was let off the leash and allowed to be free, and they created something truly unique, at least in terms of the Call of Duty game. Though this campaign does suffer from pacing problems and annoyances if you're playing on higher difficulties. Checkpoints can be infuriating at times, and there's this giant wall of garbage in the final chapter that I just couldn't take anymore on hard because of its infinite spawning drones and robots. This mission felt completely unbalanced for the difficulty. It's just not fun or fair to have infinite drones that can kill you in one or two hits while you're trying to weaken a larger enemy yards away to get in one rocket shot at a time, with no progress being saved while you do this. On top of that, friendly fire is on and your teammates will run in front of you, instantly feeling the mission. I just didn't have the patience after chipping away at this mission for what was at least an hour, though this was the only section of the game that I found to be unfair and unbalanced. I didn't necessarily have fun with this campaign, but I ultimately appreciate it for trying new things, showing players that Call of Duty is its buttery smooth shooting more than its military focus. Don't get me wrong, this is still a military based campaign, but it's so far in the background that you hardly notice. I wouldn't mind if Call of Duty continued to let one of its teams play around with its campaign like it did here and actually step away from military a bit. I doubt that would happen, but with this game I see the possibility and potential. Call of Duty can be more than a military shooter. I give Call of Duty Black Ops 3 a 7.5 out of 10. If you played Call of Duty Black Ops 3, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe for me to the channel. And thanks for watching. neutralized you made the entire CDP proud if you like this video please consider supporting me on patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com superkengaming you'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews exclusive let's play videos and you'll even get to choose the game I play next thanks for watching and of course stay beautiful